Are you ready? Your next comic. I love your name. Sunflower. 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 The same more thing. Okay. The same more white girls. No, just kidding. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, she brought a whole village, and so please give her a big hand. She's coming on stage, Sunflower, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Howdy. So, I'm trying to cut down on my pot smoking, um, and people have told me that if you're trying to get over an addiction or quit something, you should just, like... Avoid all of the things that remind you of the thing that you're trying to quit. Like, if you've got some friend that you're always, you know, drinking to excess with, you should just probably stop hanging out with that friend. Um, but the issue is, I associate smoking pot with inhalation and snacking. <laughs> so if I want to stop wanting to smoke pot, I just have to stop breathing or eating. No problem. I think it's okay to smoke pot. I don't think it's a big deal. Like... If God didn't want us to smoke pot, why did he make the Bible out of rolling paper, you know? <laughs> but I think you can smoke too much weed. Um, and I'm realizing this now because as I'm cutting back, I'm doing things um, not high for the first time ever. Uh, like the other night I flossed, not high for the first time. <laughs> Just because like the time of day when you floss is the time of day when you're high, right? Um... Guys, it was so easy. Like, <laughs> I wasn't stressing about the length of the piece of floss. I wasn't concerned about missing a tooth. It was great. I highly recommend it. Um, my field of study when I was in school was linguistics. Uh, to study, scientific study of human language. Um... Disappointingly, having a major with the Latin word for tongue in the name was not helpful in picking up nerdy lesbians. Because, um, I don't know, I feel like when you're hitting on women, you have to actually work at it. You have to be clever. I get ner I get nervous when I flirt with women. Like, flirting with men is, is easy for me. You just pretty much stand there. It happens. But with women, I feel like pressure to come up with some sort of clever... Th and then, like, I feel like I overthink it, and then it just gets, like, creepy by the time it comes out. It's like, um, I hooked up with a girl who had, like, a landing strip. You know? You know. <laughs> and, uh, and when I saw it, my first instinct was just to talk to her like I was feeding a baby, you know? Open up the hangar, here comes the airplane! <laughs> but I've had, I mean, I, I think maybe it's, like, a universal thing that women are sort of bad at, like flirtation because I got hit on this actually happened to me I got hit on at a party this girl came up to me and was like you know if you come home with me I'm gonna make you come so hard and I was like like how hard <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna hurt <laughs> is that a threat <laughs> um guys I feel like I'm going to hell but not because I've committed any particularly egregious sins. Um, I've, I've more just been involved in some sort of unfortunate coincidences that made me look really bad. Uh, I'll give you some examples. So I was walking down the street one morning, probably like 6, 6.30 a.m., and there was a gentleman. The only other person on the street was this guy who was in front of me. He was rolling in a wheelchair really slowly. Like, I was clearly going to catch up to him and pass him. And he, his head was kind of the side, and I don't know, like, he, he was just going so slowly, he seemed kind of fucked up, and, like, my heart just went out to him. So I decided that as I passed him, I was just going to give him, like, all of my loving, positive energy, sort of good vibes. And so I passed him, and I made eye contact, and I gave him my nicest smile, and I was like, good morning, sir. He was like, good morning, and he seemed to appreciate the gesture, and as I passed him, and it just happened this way, guys. I farted, and it was, like, by far the smelliest fart that my body has ever produced. It was really vile. And I was able to, you know, at my, walking at my normal pace, I was able to scoot out of this fart within a couple of seconds. But I realized that this gentleman was going so slowly, and his face was right at fart height, that his head was probably inside of my fart for two minutes. Going to hell. 
I'll give you another example. Um, a few years ago, I went on a date, uh, and we went to go see the Bob Marley documentary that came out, which was really good. And, um, you know, one thing led to another, and I ended up giving my date a hand job in the theater. <laughs> and again, it just happened this way, guys. He ended up uh, orgasming right when there was this really gnarly, like, slavery footage that came oh. onto the screen. <laughs> and then after that, I just released him back into the, this, the world with this newly minted racial violence finish. Uh, so who knows what he's up to now? Do you want to help? So I've, I've made you guys hopefully dislike me by now. <laughs> so now I'm going to make you feel sorry for me. Um, I have a Facebook page, and I've been trying my hand at making some videos, like vlog-like thing, you know, amateur. Um, and I made a video recently that was entitled, Why I Hate Dogs. Now, this video listed the reasons why I personally dislike dogs. Um, it should be noted that I did not call for a mass holocaust of all dogs and dog owners, um, or really suggest that anything violent or controversial be done to dogs, dog-loving people. Just stated my personal opinion, I'd rather not be around dogs, they smell bad. <laughs> and I put this video up on my page thinking it was kind of amusing. Um, but what quickly became apparent to me was that dog people cannot handle anyone saying that they do not like dogs. This is, and, and I, it should also be noticed, I've made very controversial jokes about religion on my page, no problem. But this dog video really seemed to hit a nerve with some people, so I wanted to read you a couple of comments that I received on my video. Um, you know, it, it started out with your very typical, um, generic sort of gentle jabs that you'd expect for any video you put on the internet, you know, uh, you sound stupid. It's obvious you just made this to piss people off, you silly little girl. But then the deep emotional trauma that these dog people had experienced watching my video really started to shine through in some of the comments. Um, you are dumb as fuck. A dog smells better than you. My dog doesn't. My dog don't stink. You stink, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I want to take my dog to your house just to piss and shit everywhere. <laughs> Here's my favorite one. Suck a dick, you low-life bitch. You look like a damn dog yourself. <laughs> Instead of making irrelevant videos on how you don't like dogs, why don't you try getting a job and saving for plastic surgery? This way, you don't look like something you hate so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Real comments, guys. So what I found funny about this was that one of the people who left a comment ended up writing a message to my page saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was so embarrassed when I saw that this was your comedy page. As if to say, oh, it's not your fault. You're a comedian. You can't help being an asshole. <laughs> and with that... I've had to pee for the last, like, 30 minutes, so I'm going to hand this back to your host. Woo! And make a graceful exit through that door. Yeah! Woo! Thank you. You got to go pee? All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give the lady a hand. Woo! And now we'll just listen to the pee and pee. <laughs> she found the 